Welcome to Blender. In this video I'm going to go over the edit mode tools uh, and their hotkeys. So if you remember to get into edit mode you can select your object and hit tab and that will take you into edit mode. Alternatively you can select your object and just jump into the modeling tab that gets rid of the timeline at the bottom and gives you more space to work with. Those of you who want a list of the hotkeys uh, if you want grab a pencil and paper so you can write these down. So Previously we went over the vertex edge and face select modes and I can do that again for you. So vertex select is 1 which brings up your vertex. 2 is edge select which lets you select edges and 3 is face select. These are all on the keyboard not the number pad. So the first tool we have is this. these first ones are the same as an object mode. So the selection methods are the same as they were in object mode, as well as the 3D cursor. Um, the move tool brings up the same move tool, but you can use it with faces themselves. So if you grab a face, you can move it. Uh, you can also grab a vertex and move it, or an edge and move it. The hotkey for this again is G. The next one we have is the rotate tool. Again, uh, the hotkey for that is R. We've been through this in the object mode, but it also works in with faces, edges, and uh, vertex. Well, vertex won't rotate really. Uh, the next one is scale. So if you select a face, you can scale the face on an axis or you can rotate it or I'm sorry scale the whole thing uh, the hotkey for that is S so if I hit S and then let's say Y it will move on the Y axis as well as S and Z or Z it moves up and down the third one doesn't have a hotkey that's just a grab rotate and scale widgets all combined into one a notate doesn't have a widget but you just click it and write with it and you can erase it. Uh, the measure it tool also doesn't have a hotkey but it has the controls if you mouse over it and it will tell you what the controls are for it and the add cube also doesn't have a hotkey. The main ones we're going to be using are the ones below these typical ones that are also in object mode. Now these widgets I don't personally use. I use hotkeys for almost all of them so I'm not going to force you to watch me painfully try to use them but I will select them and uh, show you how to use them with hotkeys and if you want to play with the widgets you can. So the first one is extrude. Uh, extrude is the hotkey for it is E and so if I hit E I can extrude. Um, if you mouse over it and hold the mouse button down it has a menu. The menu hotkey is Alt E and that will bring you up menu so you can say extrude along normals and move your mouse and it'll extrude and then left click to confirm it. Uh, the next one is inset so I can select a face and I can hit I for inset and it will do that for you. If you have multiple selected you can hit I and it does like a wrap around. If you hit I a second time it separates them so you can inset them individually. The next one we have is bevel. So if I want to bevel something I can select a face or an edge and I can hit control B and bevel it. And if I roll my mouse wheel it will give me more segments. If you're in, if you need to bevel a single vertex, you can go into vertex select mode, select a vertex, hit Control Shift B, and that will allow you to bevel a single vertex. And you can roll the mouse wheel also to add more segments. The next tool we have is the loop cut tool, and if you want to make a loop cut, the hotkey for it is Control R. And if you mouse over an edge it will send that loop cut in a direction that's perpendicular to the edge you're touching. 
So this one's going around that way. So this one will go that way and that one likewise. And once you're here, you can scroll your mouse wheel up and add more cuts if you like or, or less up and down. And once you, once you left click, you can still slide your edges where you want them. So, and if you want to put them right dead in the center, you right click and it drops them right in the center. The next tool we have is the knife tool. So to use the knife tool, you can hit K and select a vertex or an edge or just start in the middle of a face. And if you left click, it'll start a point to drawing and you can just left click the next spot and the next spot and the next spot. And then if you get to where you want to stop, you can right click and start a new knife cut and it keeps the old one. And if you want to confirm all of this, you just uh, hit spacebar or you can hit enter. And that confirms your cut. If you're using a nice knife tool and you want to slice all the way through your object, um, you can hit K to start your knife tool. Hit C to turn cut through on. And then start a cut. And when you left click it, it will cut all the way through. And then again, spacebar to confirm. Once you turn that on, uh, you have to turn it off also because down here, if you see, uh, cut through is off. Now it's on, off and on. So you just hit C to turn them on and off. Remember, there's all these things down here on just about every tool. There's lots of stuff you can play with. So I suggest you try all that stuff out. So the next two tools we have are poly build and spin. Poly build is for retopology. We won't be using it anytime soon and we probably won't use it at all. I don't care for it. I just model my uh, remesh myself. Uh, but you can look up how to use this. The spin tool works off of the point of origin. So if you try to spin this thing where it's at, it's just going to go around on itself. So we're going to move it with uh, G and on the Y axis, I'm going to move it this way some. And then if I grab these handles, I can start spinning and it'll rotate it all the way around. And you can change the number of steps and things in your operator panel here. So I can do three or two or four and it just adds more remove lessons. Uh, you can also grab these handles and change the orientation of it. So that's the spin tool. I really don't use it that much, but I might start because it does some pretty neat stuff. The next tool is the uh, Smooth Vertex uh, tool. I typically use this by right clicking and going Smooth Vertex or Vertices. But it's here if you want to use it. Uh, if we add some more loop cuts in here so that we can have some more geometry to see what it does. If you have everything selected and you hit the Smooth Vertex and you pull on this, it'll round it out. Uh, like I said, when I do it, I just right click smooth vertices and then I shift R to repeat the operation. Shift R repeats the last operation, by the way. That's a good one to remember. <laughs> the next tool is edge slide. Uh, if I want to edge slide, I select the edge I want to slide and I just hit GG and just slide the edge. Uh, there's another hotkey for it which is Shift V and it slides edge also. And it works also with vertex. That's what the other thing is there. So if you just grab one vertex you can hit GG and slide it where you want to slide it and it'll follow the path of the edge that it's connected to and you can do up and down or left and right. The next tool is Shrink and Fatten. Uh, shrink and Fatten is scaling along normals. So the hotkey for, for shrink, and, and shrink and Fatten is Alt-S. So if I select like this row of vertices, I can hit Alt-S and it will scale it along the vertices or along the normals. Um, if you do this without, if you just hit S, it scales it, but it also changes the thickness of it and things. So that's scale alt 
Alt S scales along normals. Uh, shear, we have shear. I never really use shear. It does some interesting things. <laughs> it, it feels like a rotate to me. I haven't ever used it. So that's shear. I don't have a hotkey for it. And the last one is rip region. It's probably the most fun thing to play with. Um, the hotkey for it is uh, V. But if you go into vertex and you select one vertex, you can grab this yellow circle and just peel the uh, mesh apart. Um, like I said, the hotkey for it is V. So if I go back to my box select, I select this and I hit V. I can just peel it off of there. And it just opens up a hole. A lot of fun to play with. <laughs> As we go through more projects, you guys are going to get a good handle on all these tools and the hotkeys because that's pretty much all I'll be using. I hope you liked the video. If you learned anything, uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.